Alright, so I told you in that one video that you made a fan and I made this USB fluorescent lamp. And the case is Lego. So I decided to put the case as Lego, because it's, you know, it's Lego, it's cool. And the switch, it dims the light. So yeah. And it can be powered from a USB power bank. So yeah, it's the uh, USB fluorescent lamp I wanted to show you. Yeah. Alright, I'll use a bonus clip of, you know, plugging it, because some people might think it's fake. Showing all the wiring. Oh yeah, and it's dim at first and then lights up. So yeah, oh, and if you're wondering what this case is, there's a... Uh, Converter in there, and we turn them like. There's the converter in there. The inverter, I mean. You can see it. So, turns 5 volts DC to, um, I don't know, maybe 1,000 volts AC. Um, now to let you know, it's probably going to be free, uh, people in the comments freaking out saying, oh, it's so dangerous, you're going to kill yourself. No. No, 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 no. Um, it does not hurt that bad. It doesn't hurt nearly as bad as an outlet shock. You may be wondering why it's a thousand volts compared to 120 volts AC from the outlet. Well, with the outlet, it's like it's 60 hertz, and it, yeah, that's true AC. This isn't the AC coming into the outlet hurts way more. This is really high frequency, so it doesn't hurt as bad as the outlet shock. So, just don't worry about me, I'm fine. But yeah. USB force and lamp.